The cells of the thick ascending limb of the loop of Henle play a really important role in taking ions that have been filtered from the blood into the tubules of the nephrons and reabsorbing them back into the blood. All right, how does this process work? Firstly, you need to remember that taking a look at these cells on the basolateral membrane here, you've got the sodium potassium ATPase pump, taking the sodium that's inside the cells and throwing it out ultimately going into the blood. So now we've reabsorbed sodium. It also takes potassium that's outside and throws it into the cell. Now what this means is this cell is void or empty of sodium. So now there is a concentration gradient for the sodium that's moving through the tubules. It wants to move into these cells, which is great because that sodium can then get thrown out and exchange for potassium into the blood. Piggybacking on this process of sodium moving in is actually potassium also jumping in and some of this potassium will actually move out into the blood as well, that gets reabsorbed. And also chloride piggybacks on this process as well. In actual fact, two chloride ions jump in and that also diffuses out into the bloodstream being reabsorbed as well. Now, most of this potassium actually leaks out through leaky potassium channels going back into the lumen of the tubule, carrying that positive charge with it. Now this is important because you're gonna have other positive ions like magnesium and calcium here, and they're repelled by this positive charge that potassium brings. So they actually get forced between the cells into the bloodstream, paracellular movement. And this is how we reabsorb magnesium and calcium. Now, loop diuretics, how do they work? They inhibit the sodium potassium to chloride channel. So chloride, sodium and potassium stays in the tubule which means sodium can't be thrown out through the pump and exchanged for potassium, so potassium stays outside as well. That means potassium remains outside with its positive charge, and this is gonna repel magnesium and calcium from wanting to move between the cells. So they stay in the tubules as well. So you've got all these ions in the tubules pulling water towards it, and that ends up being peed out. And that's how loop diuretics work.